Hello everybody, Toronto here, and today we are taking a look at the Armour Breaking Ambusher Battle Pass. And this time we are taking a look at the Naval Prize, which is the MC485. And that is at level 38, so you need to get to level 38, and you need to have bought the Battle Pass. And the camouflage for it can be unlocked at level 41, so that's the deforming camouflage, which looks decent enough. Also, most importantly, it does look like they have fixed the flag. Of course, this was a post-war Italian boat, and it used the Kingdom of Italy flag. It now has a Republic of Italy flag with the uh, naval ensign. Now, of course, as I mentioned in my previous video on this, it comes with two torpedoes. So they've got a travel distance of 4 kilometers and a maximum speed of 58 miles per hour, which is pretty good. And then your other armament is these two both uh, cannons. So they've got universal ammunition, and then you've got AP only or AP majority and then high explosive fragmentation incendiary tracer shell majority and with the AP shell you've got a maximum penetration of 68 millimeters at 500 meters or 81 millimeters at 10 meters so you know decent enough can get through the armor of destroyers pretty easily and maybe even get through the armor of more powerful ships if you're lucky now it's got a top speed of 38 miles per hour which is pretty good We'll just see how that compares to the German S-38B, which it is based off of. It's a little bit slower, though, of course, my S-38B is fully maxed. I suspect once the MC-485 is also researched a bit more, it will be a bit better. Because you've got all the modifications unlocked, but I don't think they're actually added on at the moment. And of course, it's basically unarmoured. Oh, it's actually completely unarmoured. I thought this bit was sort of armoured. I thought it would have at least anti-fragmentation armour, like on the German S-38B. Um, yeah, the German one does have armour, doesn't it? Yeah, the German one has anti-fragmentation armour, so I'm not entirely sure why the Italian one doesn't, considering the dev blog specifically said it had some sort of armour around here. Or it at least mentioned there was armour, so I'm not entirely sure why that's missing now. And of course this has a crew of 31, so yeah, you're going to lose pretty quickly if you take any direct hits or lose too many crew but again that is to be expected from a coastal boat now we'll just quickly test out the camouflage so that was the unicolor camouflage this is the bicolor spotted camouflage and the tricolor striped camouflage and this is going to be a battle rating 2.7 coastal vehicle so go to the italian tech tree yeah so this is going to be well it's going to be higher than the other tier 3 vehicles but it does fit a gap between the MS-473 and the Tier 3 vehicles, because of course at the moment there are no 2.7 vehicles, which will make making lineups a little bit of a difficult thing, but um, again, it's not the end of the world, and to be honest, battle ratings do seem to work a little bit different in naval. Like having a 0.3 difference doesn't seem to make as big of a difference as it does in, say, ground or air forces. We'll take this out for a quick test drive, just to see how it performs. And I just went and double checked this is on reference. So we're going to test out the top speed, see what the actual top speed is. I've fitted this with mostly AP rounds because, uh, let's be honest, that's what's going to be mostly useful. At least against enemy heavily armoured ships. HE will do very good as well, of course. We'll just test them out against this vessel. Looks like they're not quite in sync. Only one of the shots is actually hitting. Bear in mind on... Not quite side on, but ah, there we go. That's a bit better. It is taking a little while to destroy it. There we go. Oh, and coming up on shallows. Uh, yep, avoided that. Right, we're just going to let the engines go at the max. Yeah, so it is faster than the uh, top speed listed in the stats card. So we're coming about 45 miles per hour. Uh, what was the S38B? Was that about 46? So... A marginal loss in speed, but nothing that really matters, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to avoid this rock, see if we can take out this vehicle. Yeah, the aiming's a lot better for... Oh no, we've still got one shell that just seems to be going... Yeah, it's a bit odd. Seems like at certain angles, one of the bofers is aimed directly on target, and the other is just missing quite a lot. But, um, yeah, I'll have to do some more testing on that. And um, we have got some smoke generators on the back here, so 
Again, that can help provide cover for yourself or friendly vessels. We'll just test out the torpedoes. We're just going to skip to uh, where they hit. Just take a few pot shots at the destroyer just to uh, test out the bofers on that. Yeah, again, it seems like at certain angles one of the shells is just going a bit haywire, at least for a few seconds. That may just be it getting caught up on some of the uh, things on the deck, causing it to uh, not be able to get on target properly. Right, there's the torpedoes. I thought they had disappeared for a second. <laughs> but, um, no, they have hit, and have done pretty good damage. That ship is now completely on fire. Sinking very quickly, but it's not a one-hit kill, or even a two-hit kill, because we fired two torpedoes at it. So it still requires the bofers to come in and try and finish it off, which is not necessarily something you're going to be able to do if there is an alert captain, or if it's surrounded by lots of friendlies. But I think we will be able to do it purely on the basis they're not firing back, nor will they be able to. Yeah, that's going to keel over pretty quickly. So, we have done our job and taken down the destroyer. Uh, we're just going to let it sink and then we'll go back to the hangar. So that is the MC-485. And it's a decent enough prize. You know, it's something different and, you know, it's a unique vehicle, which, of course, is something you want in Battle Pass vehicles. I'm not sure I like the Bofors so much. I mean, they are harder hitting, but as I showed in the test drive, one of them does seem to go a little bit haywire every now and then. I wouldn't mind, you know, I prefer a vehicle with faster firing guns, I think. I, d I don't know, maybe it's just my personal play style. I don't particularly play Coastal that much. I've, and, you know, I could get into this one, to be honest. But, yeah, personally, this isn't one I'm massively excited about, but... It is a good addition to the Battle Pass, just not really my sort of thing. And to be honest, I'm not sure many people play naval. So I suspect many other people will also be skipping this vehicle, or at least not specifically going for it. Anyway, that is the MC-485. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video looking at it. Hopefully you'll join me for future videos looking at the Battle Pass vehicles. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.